the first message was sent from UCLA to Stanford. It was supposed to be login, but the system got crash. The network crashed. So what was the first message ever on the internet? Hey there, have you ever wondered how the internet came to be? From waiting weeks for a letter to instant messaging and video calls, the journey has been quite remarkable. Imagine a world without Google, without funny cat videos, without the ability to connect with people across the globe in real time. It's hard to believe, right? Well, today we are going to dive into the incredible story of the internet. Let's go. All right, let's travel back to the late 60s. Letters taking days to arrive and the libraries being the go-to place for information. But behind the scenes, some really smart folks at the US Department of Defense were working on something big. They called it ARPANET, the Advanced Research Project Agency Network. You ever heard of it? This was the seed that would grow into the internet, changing how we connect, share and interact forever. These guys, Paul Barron and Lawrence Roberts, were like the early rock stars of the internet. Their mission was to create a communication network that could survive a nuclear attack. Pretty wild, right? They used this cool thing called packet switching to make it happen. So what is packet switching? Think of it like this. If one road is blocked, you can take a different one. Similarly, these packets take various paths to reach the same destination. Each package finds its own way through the network, taking the most efficient route available. This method made the network super resilient. If one part of the network was damaged, or overloaded, the packets could still get through via other routes. In 1969, they set up the first nod at UCLA with an IMP. Think of it as an early router. These IMPs were basically big refrigerator-sized computers designed by a company called BBN. They connected them with the long-distance leased telephone lines, which cost a bomb back then. So they connected UCLA, Stanford, UC Santa Barbara, and the University of Utah. In October 1969, the first message was sent from UCLA to Stanford. It was supposed to be login, but the system got crashed after just log. We typed the L and we said, you get the L? I said, yep, got the L. Type the O, you got the O? Yep, got the O. Type the G, got the G? Crash! The network crashed. So what was the first message ever on the internet? Low! Still, it was the first internet message. By December, all four universities were connected. This initial network of four nodes was the seed of what would become the internet. ARPANET allowed researchers to share information and resources, paving the way for the future innovations. Fast forward to the late 80s at CERN in Switzerland. Enter Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist with a game-changing idea. He looked at ARPANET and thought, hmm, how can we make this accessible to everyone? In 1989, he came up with a way to share information over the internet using hypertext, basically links that connect documents. He created the first web browser and server. This turned the internet into a user-friendly place where anyone could find information. The 90s? That's when the web really took off. Remember Mozak? It was the first popular web browser that made surfing the web a thing. Then came Netscape Navigator. Suddenly, the internet was a colorful, bustling place. Companies like Yahoo, Amazon and Google popped up, changing how we find information, shop and communicate. Email became our go-to communication tool, replacing snail mail with instant messages. Businesses jumped on the internet bandwagon launching e-commerce. And you know what's really interesting? India played a big role in this revolution. Companies like Infosys and Wipro were at the forefront of the IT boom, providing softwares and services to the world. Social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram brought us closer, letting us share our lives in real time. Today, more than 4.5 billion people are online. The internet has transformed our society, democratizing information, enabling remote work and building global communities. It has changed education, reshaped industries and even influenced social and political movements. But did you know that the origins of the wireless networking can be traced back to the 1970s in Hawaii. Researchers at the University of Hawaii were working on a project called Aloha Net, which used radio signals to connect Hawaiian islands. This was one of the earliest examples of a wireless local area network, laying the groundwork for the Wi-Fi we know today. The 1980s saw the development of more advanced wireless LAN, and the 1997 release of 802.11 Wi-Fi standard was a game-changer. 
Suddenly we could connect to the internet without being tied to a desk or a wall socket. Mobile devices like laptop and smartphones integrated wireless capabilities making the internet access truly portable. Cellular networks also played a crucial role in the wireless internet revolution. 2G, 3G, 4G technologies brought faster mobile data speed allowing us to browse the web, stream videos and stay connected on the go. And now 5G is set to take things to the next level with the lightning fast speed, low latency and the ability to connect massive numbers of devices simultaneously. 5G is not just about faster internet, it's about creating a truly connected world. 5G will enable new applications and industries that we can't even think of. So, from ARPANET to 5G, the journey of the internet has been nothing short of incredible. It's transformed how we live, work and play, making our world smaller and more connected. Next time you click, tap or swipe, remember, you are a part of this incredible story. Happy browsing. For more incredible stories, subscribe to AIM. Think AI. Think AIM.